I'm not in a talkative mood, but there ain't never been a time <laughs> when I couldn't just let loose something like that. It seems like it going, you never know what could happen. Last time I talked about, did I say golden rule? I'm pretty sure I did. I might go back to it. But if I go to the next one, it's gonna say, know your limits, don't travel too far out your boundaries. Why? Cause you make it hurt. Hey. You see that? A nigga just put on a smile in a half a second, trying to be serious, the neighbor drove by. Hey. Y'all will hear about shit, a lot of shit that I do. A lot of people have heard it, even at my job. They be like, nigga, you so ghetto. How the fuck are you in customer service at a Ritz Carlton? I put on my white face, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I tell people, you go to a job interview. Put on your white face. Why is it a white face? Because a white man is professional and he pronounces his INGs at the end of his words and he sits up straight, posture is perfect, he doesn't slouch and does all that shit. That's just the way it's done. In this America, that's so, so great. I'm already fucking up, let me get back. Know your limits, don't travel too far out your boundaries. Why? Because you make it hurt. Don't get it twisted. Set your goals higher than the sky. Just use caution. One small slip up may get you targeted to die. I did start this one. I didn't read it off the phone. I got worked up and I was on this path to tell you about it. And a nigga made a hard left. I started doing donuts in the street and just talking shit. Know your limits. Don't travel too far out your boundaries. If I'm at the gym and I want to show off, I'm not going to try to bench press 550 pounds because I know my limits. If I want to push them and a nigga feeling good, I'm going to try 420, 425, just to be like, hey, bitch. Um, why you make it hurt? Because if a nigga tried to bench 500, <laughs> Uh, set your goals higher than the sky. So I might have a goal to bench 500 one day. Just, if you ain't ready for it, nigga, don't try it. Uh, just use caution, because one small slip up might get you targeted to die. That small slip up, it's not even a small slip up. When I started talking about this originally, a nigga brought up Nick Cannon. And I'm not saying it in like a bad way, like Nick Cannon is a bad person. I'm saying it like, God damn, I'm fucking pissed on me because they took Wadden out off the air. Straight up. Big homie was on a podcast. Said something. I'm sure it came from right here. Because he said it. And it may have offended certain people. And so-and-so wanted an apology. Nick said, for what? Nick, I said what I said. They said, oh, for real, though? You want your show? You want your show? Apologize. He didn't apologize and they snatched his shit off the air. Brand new episode set to air that night did not even come on. And then instead of having Wilden out all on the motherfucking feed when I go to my TV guide, all you saw was Fresh Prince, Martin, Wayne's brothers. Next day, Fresh Prince, Martin, because Wilden out was on VH1 non fucking stop. One small slip up can get you targeted to die. Now my nigga ain't dead. I'm sure he's not hurting for money. But goddamn, they took a big old chunk out of his wallet and said, well, fuck you then. If you ain't gonna play my game, my rules, then you, you can't play at all. Or you better go find someone else that's willing to let you go play. But you ain't gonna play here, because we puppets and shit. So nigga, you gotta know your boundaries, because you still gonna be a puppet no matter what you're doing. Um, and I really feel Pac's death was obviously uh, a setup. Um, I don't think it was East Coast, West Coast. Biggie died by affiliation because it's a perfect fucking, I'll run into Anderson, blah, blah, blah. Talk about some East Coast thing, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, okay, well, you killed my homeboy on the West Coast. We're going to kill your homeboy on the East Coast. And then both murders unsolved. And I recall today, wash your hands, sweep it under the rug, and say, fuck it, move on. Just a pawn in the game, which is fucked up because how strong and how powerful they were. They treated them like a pawn in the game. Not to say my niggas was about more than that. 
no offense Biggie because your style was fucking phenomenal and you was great but Pac was more than that and Pac had shit he would want to do and Pac was on a fucking he was on a tear my nigga was going to do some shit and he said if God give me breath for 20 more years I can see myself changing this world because his thought patterns are so opposite of what's normal he either has to change the world or be changed by the world that's my nigga man Know your limits. I'm, I'm free to say any fucking thing I want because the way my life is going in about four or five years when I look back at this video and it has 23 views, yeah, that's how it is. But let a nigga get a, let a nigga get a, a record, record deal. Then I guarantee I'm gonna have to start my pawns will be played a little bit differently. You know what I mean? I put the motherfuckers out different, lay the whole game out different. But if shit don't change, shit won't change. Fuck it. If shit does change, guaranteed, it's going to be beautiful. I'm a minute over, but I was telling you about my white face. So it's fine. See y'all next time. Peace.